Well, hey, it's Pastor Seth again. Thanks for tuning in. I pray that this just blesses you, that it encourages your heart, but, but also that you dig into the scripture for yourself. The last couple of days I've been talking about the New City Catechism, which is, it's a statement of theology. Is it written by men? Yes, ultimately, but it's based on what the scriptures teach us about God. It's based on like centuries of, of understanding of who God is and what the scriptures teach us. So we, we, we can, when we, we use it, it's, it's not scripture itself, but it's pointing us to these truths that are in the Bible. But today I want to just bring uh, a little passage out of Proverbs. I'm kind of working my way through Proverbs. Proverbs is this book that gives us wisdom. At the beginning it says, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom or of knowledge, of understanding. If we want to really rightly understand ourselves, understand the world we live in, we got to start with the fear of the Lord. And in, in chapter 3, verse 13 to 18, he comes and talks about wisdom again. He says, blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding. For the gain from her is better than from silver and her profit better than gold. She is more precious than jewels and nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are full of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called blessed. And the Bible comes to us, and it presents this way of life, this different alternate way of life than is offered to us by this world. This world wants to hold out wants to hold out pleasure and comfort and security and power and luxury luxury as 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 life but but the bible holds up a different view of the world as as truly life and and in this text god is pointing us to this truth truth that it's better to have wisdom knowledge true knowledge about the world than it is to have riches It's more precious to have wisdom than to have, have jewels. It's, it's better to have, to have it. Why? Because it says long life is in her hand. Does that guarantee we're going to have long life? No, not necessarily. But, but in general, if we follow the way God has designed us to live, that is going to turn out well for us. It says she is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. So the question is, how do we lay hold of wisdom? To come back to the beginning of Proverbs, the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge or wisdom. So it's my prayer, my prayer that God would make me wise. Often when people ask, Pastor, how can I pray for you? I say, pray for wisdom. Solomon prayed for wisdom, that God would give him wisdom to, to lead God's people. I need wisdom. We need wisdom. We need to seek wisdom. Here in Proverbs, the writer, this this good father says, "It's, it's, it's better than anything in this world. That'd be a great prayer for us to pray today. God, give me wisdom.